Hello everyone and welcome to another review. Today we are going to take a look at a new Xiaomi product. It's uh, one of uh, their uh, uh, routers and uh, I'm telling you it's one of them because they have uh, at least uh, two released models currently and uh, this one is the one with uh, built-in uh, one terabyte hard drive and a dual uh, or two dual band antenna so this is uh, rather fast and also uh, should do some interesting stuff uh, because it has internal storage so let's move on and uh, here is the router it looks just like this very nice uh, build quality this is uh, rubberized plastic uh, the top here is uh, um, kind of a fine mesh so it will cool uh, here uh, it will vent uh, warm air from the inside while on the bottom it has an intake port and you know that warm air travels so it will uh, take cold air from beneath and it will uh, get it out on the top of it so it also has a USB port it has two uh, LAN ports and of course uh, one port and a reset button and power jack in the box you get a adapter if you are from Europe it comes with a VIP card in Chinese a quick manual and we should get a power supply for it and look at this power supply it's rather large and what do you know it also comes with another adapter so you may try to plug it in two outlets at once I'm just joking so I'm going to power it on and see uh, if we can configure it easily or not I'm going to plug it in we get some LED lights it has a LED in front and uh, reading its uh, quick install manual uh, it says that uh, we should be able to have access to its wireless as it's not encrypted so if I go on to the network settings here I should be able to find its name I can hear the hard drive spinning let's do a refresh for networks And there it is, Xiaomi, no password, it has connected and we get a blue light here. And according to the quick manual, I should be able to access this uh, web interface now. By going to its IP address or its name. So I have zoom in for you to see better and now I should go to my wifi dot com and this should redirect me to the router interface hi there your router is waking up and there it goes yes I agree user turns just one second Well, you can see it has a very nice uh, quick uh, setup so I'm going to set setup Wi-Fi password okay you can uh, uh, enable password to protect it I'm not going to do that now enter next no it won't let me so I need to set a password I'm gonna put something random just for the test and now it should be probably disconnect no it does not let me because it needs more characters all right and it's now setting up and going to let it work it also has dual band so it has 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz so 
you can get uh, even more faster speed you need to know that 2.4 it's uh, uh, slower but has a better penetration so it will work uh, through many uh, walls uh, even on uh, different levels of your uh, building while the 5 GHz one it has a lot more speed but it has less range and it will not go through a lot of faults so the signal will be poorer all right connect to the router admin page and now it won't connect probably because i will need to enter the password for it again of course and now i need to enter my password that i have previously set up and i'm going to click connect which is absolutely normal it's obtaining the IP address and now I'm going to refresh that page and I'm now connected to its web interface so click here to show devices click here to show status of course it's not connected to the internet now because it's just on the table so this is just a quick demonstration let's see what it has in the menu so in devices it shows what devices are currently connected this is the router, its status, bandwidth, you can see it has really nice graphs here, you can see the frequency of its CPU, storage, it has uh, 256 uh, uh, megabytes RAM memory, storage, you can see the hard drive, 1 terabyte, it's X4 format, it's on a SATA 3 interface, you can check its health it has option to put the drive to sleep you can format it from here so you can manage the drive and now in settings of course we have wireless settings we can set a guest uh, guest uh, SSID if you want uh, people to connect to your network without giving them your password internet this is for connecting to your internet provider let's see if it has it also has pp poa which is important it has dhcp it has static ip so all that things that are needed on a regular router you can set its port you can clone a mac address right and security we have options to enable wireless access so you can manage it from wireless or not of course you can change the password let's go further LAN settings so you have a DHCP server and its LAN IP address which you of course can change and its status is the quick status you can update its firmware you have a log for it you can restore it to factory defaults and these were the settings but you have advanced settings here and here we got a lot more things to manage so you have quality of service and uh, from this menu you can uh, set bandwidth limit you can set application limit so you can prioritize uh, web browsing and uh, deprioritize uh, downloading and so on so you can set that which is re really nice you can uh, assign static IP addresses you have a dynamic dns let's see how many services does it recognize so you have the dns no ip.com which is okay so you have uh, a few options here so that's very good let's go back Port forwarding which is very important if you are using more devices behind your network and you want to access them from uh, the internet this is very good you have a VPN server also and on additional settings plug and play and developer settings you can enable application debug mode which I don't know what is exactly what I am uh, missing from uh, this uh, interface is uh, any kind of uh, utilities for using the hard drive so as you can see we have already browsed all the settings all the menus but it does not have anything about sharing the drive settings for the drive it does not have a FTP uh, server uh, it does not have a download manager nothing like that 
So I was thinking what is happening, so why would you install a hard drive into a router without having any kind of application? Well, it's because of this and it's written here. I'm glad that they have included this uh, leaflet so you don't have to uh, lose your time checking over the internet and using uh, Chinese websites. So it's stated clear that you need to install the smart plugins and you will have access to a download manager, a cloud manager and so on. So this router uh, basically has a market and uh, when you connect it to the internet you have access to that market you are going to update its firmware and then you have access to the plugins and you are going to install whatever you need and it has a lot of uh, things like streaming for televisions and so on and so on and so on uh, I think that I'm going to try that later because it will make this uh, video uh, too long and probably you are going to get bored with it anyway so this was just a quick look over this uh, uh, router uh, if you are interested I'm going to publish more videos about it I'm going to do speed tests of course I'm going to install those plugins but only if you want to so please leave a comment if you are interested in seeing more and I'm going to try to help you with uh, any kind of questions or additional informations until next time bye bye